My name is Craig Miller and I'm the current Commodore of the Point Yacht Club. I have a short message for all PYC members which is of extreme importance. Um, all of us who care about the future at Vecchi's Beach, this will be relevant. In 2013, six individuals formed a not-for-profit company uh, called the Point Water Sports Club, NPC. Um, it's otherwise known as PWC. The individuals were uh, Kuhn Hall, Hilton Kidger, Tony Allison, uh, Jeff Phillips, Sean Lavery and Trevor Donald. Now a not-for-profit not company structure is set out in something called a Memorandum of Incorporation or an MOI. This company has over time presented itself as the PWC and that PWC which was contemplated in an agreement uh, from 2008. Now this agreement in 2008 was reached between the beach clubs and the Point Development Company, the Durban Point Development Company uh, or DPDC and it set out the rights of the clubs to exist under their own constitutions in a new development. Now, the first indication that all was not well uh, was when the PYC approached the Point Water Sport Club to change its directors in 2016. Um, we were initially refused, uh, being told that the PY PWC was an independent legal entity and therefore the PYC had no say in who could stand uh, as directors on that company. Following the threat of legal action, the change of directors took place However, the PYC is still in a minority position on the board as the remaining four directors will not allow the Durban Paddle Ski Club uh, to become uh, directors on the PWC. In subsequent PWC board meetings, it became very clear that Kewan Hall, Hilton Kidger, Jeff Phillips and Sean Lavery were very firm in several positions. Firstly, that the PWC was to be a new club and as such the founding clubs would be dissolved. Secondly, that the Durban Paddle Ski Club would not be represented on the board. Thirdly, that somehow freehold land was off the table in the new development. Um, and of course, that uh, directors could be paid for their work um, on the PWC board. Now, the PYC is fundamentally opposed to all of these positions and as such has had to take it to arbitration. So the irony of the above situation is that the DUC and Durban Ski Boat Club have been paying legal bills to defend a position which sees their demise in favour of a new independent company with six directors. Now on Friday the 14th of July, in a matter of the arbitration, PYC received a document from the PWC in which it clearly showed its hand. The PWC again claims that it is an independent legal entity that its MOI does not need to reflect the agreements and the understandings in the 2008 agreement and that only the individual directors of the PWC can alter the MOI of that company. In short, the funds of the DUC and the Durban Ski Boat Club are being used to fund an entirely separate legal entity which aims at seeing the demise of those entities.